Education. For the bungled educational system does not teach one to save. When uneducated and artful television advertisements creating a society of dumb, manipulated wage slaves. For dominating credit cards make it easy to spend and consume. As its principle and ominous death, animosity rings true. Telling humans, character is defined by the size of a wallet. Deceived by the American dream. Houses of the red, white, and blue. As youthful ones, innocent children have watched the elderly suffer, using their lifelong aesthetical homes to straight razor taxation after laying down in stinging wounds in wartime of deep dissension to defend the country with their honor and build a once great nation. America is drowning in a sea of debt in variations where the abstract swiping cards and two brain cells are the criteria to get used up and maxed out like a hit wounded street walking victim suffering the black eyes of indisposed financial hysteria but one cannot sue contusion America for demented theft for the money was spent on heartless acts of visiting snake pleasure tricked with the dramatic theater ways of deep fiscal thievery, stealing the essential life force to the mortal greatness treasure. Like an actress, the accounts payable later card was devious, but it played so well lines of credit by a conditional sale part. Picturing no balance bank line limits on levels of discipline. Knowing financing banking manipulation is a work of art. America is building the upset, faithless, and losing credit. Sucking individual Americans into much greater debt. Not knowing the realistic, tangible wealth cannot be borrowed. For that is like expecting great placid odds in black and red roulette. And citizens are conditioned to view debt as money for decades, while commercials and cartoons show the children credit cards of gold, never speaking of real-life possible financial catastrophe, nor teaching a person to have money by saving when they are old. For circulating debt is a credit card assuring coined assistance, building up in harsh dysfunctional sorrow with each and every bill. And one can live for today supersonically swiping and sweeping, leaving its raping debt there lying beside one, keeping the stomach ill. America is plastic like a well-timed punch without the stinging. When retail therapy buying goodies is a glorious feeling, raising the sexual credit higher for the extra assurance as the hot voluptuous banks realize what brain cells it is stealing, allowing one to borrow spicy money that cannot be paid back as the seductive bankers speak like a true optimist believer with their proactive and salacious buy now pay later attitude becoming like troublemakers also known as the great deceiver of debt as a credit crunch in a share of old junky dividends as the new television teaches one how to swipe 
and then forget, not showing how to be free from the ruffle of antagonizing bills for American bankers want one forever in their wicked debt. America's debt with a forbidding Prince of Darkness mission, keeping the smug Lucifer spending up as money seems unending until the diabolical debtor straight from hell comes in the mail. But the lovely devilish credit card still works instead of pending. As the sinister troublemaking bankers tell one not to despair, when the saucy lifestyle of jocularity ends up so abrupt, for another gold credit card can pay off a used up credit card. While never taught in any school how easy it is to go bankrupt. When the vibrant variable numbers change into flickering ghosts, blinded by the sexed mathematics of material wealth to the core, as one learns the frightful branches of the IRS and CRA, while paying down the menacing debt from another unworthy store. Debt and taxation spin with the injections of deep, false facades, where many have been intravenously brutalized by all beast lies, creating a dark, inscrutable debt war that is not planned to win.